This is ESPL Boxing, delighted to be joined by the new European featherweight champion, Nathaniel Collins, as well as the British, as well as, as, well as the Commonwealth. Nathaniel, first of all, just want to say thank you. Uh, fantastic fight, really entertaining. Um, a lot of people on Twitter are going crazy about the nose. How, how is the nose? Yeah, it's fucking sore. <laughs> sore. Um, mate, it changed the course of fight a wee bit. I started really well, really clever. I was picking my shots together and then the nose went. I couldn't breathe. I was focusing a lot on the amount of blood coming out of it. So it, it was just one of the ones. But um, champions need to deal with that stuff and I dealt with it and we're moving on. Would you say that was the toughest fight of your career so far? Yeah. I think it was, and that guy was experienced. He's a bit the likes of Reese Ballot. He's a bit Ken Baker. He's he's a British. He's a bit British guy. He's he's only lost the British uh, European champion. He went 12 rounds with the European champion, got a draw. You know what I mean? So he's no mug. Absolutely. Um, I feel a bit guilty about asking you what's next. Cause it's been such a tough fight. So I'm not I'm not going to do that. But one thing I do want to ask you about is well, obviously at York Hall in London tonight. Um, it's been a little while since you fought back home in Scotland. I know you won the British and Commonwealth titles there. Is that something you are eager to do? Is that something that's kind of on your bucket list the next 12 months or so? Mate, I would love that. I would love that if Queensbury could give me that opportunity. You know, I'd be forever grateful. I need that opportunity to bring the Knights back home. Um, well, I'm in rest in peace. Scott Harrison, Ricky Burns, Alex Arthur, all massive Scottish boxing names. Bringing crowds all over the place, fighting at home. That's fan-friendly fights. The people want to see fights like that. I'll do that, I'll fill stadiums, so, you know, I'll give fights like that to people who come, you know, give me that chance. Really exciting. Just final question for me, Nathaniel. Um, scorecards were, were, a bit, were a bit close. Did you think that you won by a, by a wider margin? Is that what your team was telling you? Just a quick word on the scorecards. Nah, mate, um, that was a difficult fight, and I thought that guy done a lot of nothing, so he'd done a lot of moving, a lot of... Rushing in, blah de blah, but there was only one, two, three punches around he was throwing, and yes, they might have been clear, but in terms of boxing, in terms of ring generalship, in terms of, you know, keeping the distance, keeping the range, I was doing the better work, so um, I, I thought it was a great fight, and I, I, I wouldn't argue with the score. I never heard the scorecard, so I don't really know, I just heard that in the news, so that's all I care about. Well, congratulations once again, Nathaniel Collins, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks, oh, I just touched on the bloody nose with that one.